It's super special when you got guys like Kelsey Lane and BG that's been here that long. Now we've all four been together for over a decade. Did you ever think about going to another team, plus? <laughs> I mean. Brandon, tell me about the journey of being a number one draft pick to this point. Better get ready, because we got practice on uh, Saturday. This defense trusts you guys. There ain't no sack. That's a the touchdown. You guys set the tone. We're winning games because of this group. I think if there's one common denominator, I think all these guys, you know, they love the game of football. Do you ever think about going to another team, Plus? <laughs> I mean, things happen, right? The last two years, I've, I've had a chance to may possibly do that, right? But um, the biggest thing is, is I'm here now, you know? And it's, it's super special when you got guys like Kelsey Lane and BG that's been here that long, you know, together. And, you know, Philly is home. Um, it's, it's where I want to, you know, finish my career with, and uh, I'm excited about it. Ever think about going to another team, Lane? Never. Never. I've never crossed my mind. Uh, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, they've always took great initiative and, and wanting to keep their players here and, and building on players and, and continue their success. So, you know, we just want to play hard and give everything for people in this building, the people of the city. And so just playing here, I feel like it always brings out the best version of yourself, the pressure, the eyes. I feel like it really uh, amplifies you into, um, you know, what you're meant to become. Did you ever think about going to another team? There was a couple years where I didn't know what was going to happen in Philly. I think a uh, little unsure whether the team where, where I stood with the team and, you know, I was never a free agent. So, you know, nothing ever really became that up in the air that it was a real discussion. But uh, no, I think uh, for the most part, you know, I really haven't. Do you ever think about going to another team? Uh, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go to another team. Cause I feel like, you know, you stick with the team that drafted you, them the ones that usually take care of you in the end because they want to see you do great. And I've just been told the Eagles are now on the clock. That's the safety. That's Earl Thomas. That would be the safety. They have now traded with the Broncos, who have fallen down from 13 all the way to 24. With the 13th pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Brandon Graham, defensive end, Michigan. Yeah. All right, David. Three, two. Brandon, tell me about the journey of being a number one draft pick to this point. Well, you know, you growing up, you always want to know. I mean, you always want to be that first round draft pick. And, you know, it was a dream come true, you know, to sit there with my mom and my family and all and everybody, you know, to see them call my name, especially Philadelphia, because it's a strong organization. You know, I know they on the right path to the Super Bowl. A uh, rookie version of me was more trying to earn my way. And in the beginning, I knew it just when I was starting to figure it out, you know, I get hurt. Uh, so, you know, it was some down times in that. Meanwhile, Brandon Graham, another good looking rookie first round pick out of Michigan, is the injured Eagle. Good looking young player. And when I was out for the season, uh, I remember going through, you know, a little bit of a depression stage because that was the first time I really got hurt when I tore my ACL. and. I went about it as best that I could, but looking back on it, social media was tough for me. Uh, Twitter was tough because you got guys who was, who was successful like Earl Thomas, uh, Jason Pierre Paul, and I ended up just getting all the backlash of, man, we got this guy hurt and this guy Earl Thomas, who we wanted, could have been here, he could have been doing what he doing in Seattle. And so when I got done with my knee injury, it was like, you know, those people that's calling me a bust, they gonna eat those words. And so I always carry that. <laughs> Even now, I always just kind of go out there and know that, you know, every opportunity you get on that field, make sure you just keep turning up. And when you can't turn up no more, that's when it's time to let it go. And so, you know, it's just been a great road, man, uh, on just me learning myself, especially during them hard times. I'm gonna miss this. That's why I'm just enjoying this. This is what's up. What I'm hoping to pass on to the younger guys is to, 
not take this job so serious. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta remain focused. I mean, it's gonna be highs and lows of this thing, but you gotta figure out how, how you can make the best out of the situation. Hey, go put them hands on them boys, man. I can't wait to watch this. Hey, downhill all day. They already know, but you gotta do it today. And so I think for me, it goes with your attitude you bring every day. Uh, because at the end of the day, if you get as fortunate as I have to be here this long, uh, it's got to be something else other than just you playing good. Hey, hey, that center trying to get you. Yeah, hey, just know. Hey, you know they're going to slide to you. So know that going in. So I know for me, I just try to lead by example. And so I just show them boys how to be a professional and just have a good regimen about yourself of uh, what you stand for and what you do and what you bring to this team. These pants look tight. Yeah. So feel tight. You usually pull your up higher. Dude, JP used to wear fucking like 36s. I wore like a 42. I'm like, how in the f is this dude wearing a 36 compare? Yeah, I would say our relationships probably changed, you know, obviously since we first met. You know, when you're in the league, a lot of a lot of stuff is going on. It's brand new to your life, you know, football, new city, new people. So I feel like really since we've gotten older, I feel like we really um, just became a lot closer. It's very rare you have, um, you know, a core group of guys on a team for, you know, this number of years, but uh, you know, we have a really tight bond, so really just, uh, you know, started cherishing our time more, you know, as we've gotten older. Son, he tore, he split that. Jalen. That's tough. Yeah, I mean, he used to. Hey, that's salty right there, bro. Well, he's amazingly athletic and talented to start. I mean, he's big, he's long. He can get off the ball better than just about any tackle. Um, he's strong, he's smart, and Usually, if you're athletic, strong, and smart, you're going to be pretty good at football. No sack. Yeah, ain't no sack. There ain't no sack. That's a touchdown. Great job, boys. Great job. How was it? Good? Killed him? Cooking him? Your leg. What's up, baby? Yo, we ain't even good since I was playing, yo. He's in the shotgun. Takes the snap. He gives it off to McCoy. Up the middle he goes. Jumps over one man. He's at the 20. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Shady McCoy! A 34 yard run. I'm a rookie version of myself. I would have a tad bit more hair. Not to say it didn't need a good razor uh, then, but yeah, really that. I feel like physically, you know, I'm a lot bigger than what I was coming out of college. Just that, and I feel like. Uh, like I'm a lot more calm now than when I was younger. I feel like I had a lot of nervous energy, a lot of distractions early in my career. So uh, I feel like this version of myself now is a lot more focused, a lot more composed, and you know, use the knowledge that I learned to my advantage. All right, I got my coaching hat on, good to go. You know what I mean? Well, there's a lot of challenges, right? Um, you know, the number one deal I always try to tell myself is um, no matter what coach is here, you know, head coach, defensive coordinator, position coach, whatever it is, accept change. And in my career here, I've been able to go through that, right? To being a pro about it and accepting that change and what's best for the organization and the team and not being a selfish player. I'm just coming in and, you know, just going and, you know, helping who I got to help and making myself better at the same time. Here we go now. Here we go. Good luck out there, boys. Good luck. Go get them. Gotta be. Hey, Mar, Mar, you just gotta be more conscious on when you're in a two eye of where the quarterback is, because that's the way he spit through the B guy. Um, I think this next generation of Eagles that's come here, these younger guys, um, number one is, you know, we practice hard here. 
Um, I hope that they can soak that up and, you know, and keep that trend going, you know, in the way that we play here, the way that we treat everybody around the building, how we want to be treated. Um, and you try to put that into all the young guys' heads. Speak to the people. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's just gifted physically as a human being. He's gifted mentally, very, very smart, in tune player. Uh, he plays the game with inside the game very well. Then he also, Fletch also has this mean streak to him where, you know, he's, he wants to kill somebody. And I think that that's a good trait to have in a defensive lineman. Yeah, 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 yeah! Hit his ass, hit his ass! You stink! Uh, I think what makes Fletch successful is the play on the inside, you gotta be mean. So, you know, I call him the grumpy old man. <laughs> Cause, uh, you know, every day, you don't know what you're gonna get, but uh, on that field, I definitely know what I'm gonna get and I'm gonna get everything from him. So I think that's uh, something that's been, you know, serving them well, uh, definitely in this sport. Yeah, I mean, you know, BG's obviously the oldest, so he was the first one in the building. And, you know, we were all so young together. And, um, you know, I think that we all kind of, you know, went through the NFL together. I think, you know, it's it's been fun to, you know, get to know each other, get to know each other's families throughout the years. And, uh, you know, kind of how life just continues to happen. And, um, you know, I think, now we've all four been together for over a decade. So um, pretty unique that, that that many guys get to play on one roster for, uh, for that long. I think if there's one common denominator, I think all these guys love the game, love being in the building, love being around their teammates. Um, you know, if you're motivated by money or if you're motivated by awards, uh, there's no reason why any of these guys would still be playing because they've already gotten all that. So what is it that keeps you coming back? And um, the one common denominator, I think, with all great players that have longevity uh, besides staying healthy is, you know, they love the game of football. Uh, man, you just really got to start over. I mean, every year is different, but... You got, to, you got to be resilient. You got to be tough. Um, but you really just got to be focused. And that's really what it goes down to. Um, a lot of distractions, a lot of chatter. You know, this is a year that, um, you know, we have a lot of talent, have a lot of ability. So uh, expectations are maybe higher than normal years, but um, that's a good thing. Um, you know, as far as we're concerned, we're just going to work and go out there and let our play speak for itself and let, let all that take care of itself but uh, yeah it's all the fans uh, appreciation for the team and it's there's not a better city than Philadelphia yeah you know as we move on to week one against the Patriots uh, my thing is just to uh, stay focused uh, stay in the routine um, you know stay you know kind of stoic I guess throughout the season don't get too high about a situation don't get too low uh, and realize just what you have before you. This is an important talk right here. All right, it's one of my favorite talks of the year. So roles, this is really important that we all understand what our role is. Just like everything we do, the job description has to be very clear. And so I'm gonna try to look every one of you guys in the eye right now and talk to you about what your role is this season. All right, everybody's role is different, but everybody's role is important. We have to accept our role and contribute. That's the biggest thing, that everybody in this room is contributing in the pass game. This pass game runs through you, Dallas. This pass game runs through you, Devontae. This pass game runs through you, AJ. And it can look different each and every week. But for us to be special, we need you three to let it go. In the run game, it's a little different this year. It's gonna run through all four of you. Jalen, obviously we know how important you are. You're the field general. Be who you are, you don't gotta be anything else. 
So now I'm talking to all the guys that are backups, the practice squad guys, newcomers, specialists, all those little things that take to be special in this group that nobody sees, right? Just keep working your ass off on it. Reed, your role has greatly changed. Nicobe, your role has greatly changed. This defense trusts you guys, DBs, right? There's nobody else we'd rather have in this room than you three to win your one-on-one -on -one matchups. So the challenges are on us to go out there and and lock people up and let our D-line go eat. Guys, I love this group. Jordan, Marlon, Pat, Nolan, Milton, Jalen, Street, Morrill, Derek, Hassan, Josh, Fletch, BG. You guys set the tone. We want to keep coming at them in waves. We're winning games because of this group. Offensive line. This is a deep group. Lane, you draw a tough matchup every week. We ain't going to help you. You got them. Jason, expect the unexpected. Nobody else I'd rather have than you to get us all on the same page. Nobody, ever. This is a huge, huge role. Everybody's role is important. Not everybody's role is the same, but everybody's role is important.